All right, time now for our top talker, and it is travel. It's been on so many minds for the last year, really, and we're all eager to get out and go somewhere. Chances are you had a vacation plan last year that you had to scratch. And maybe you were left with a voucher or a travel credit. NBC's Liz McLaughlin shares the scoop on making sure those funds don't go to waste. A year after the pandemic upended the travel industry and canceled flights, Americans with vouchers could be racing the clock. But the first step is to read the fine print on that expiration date. Because on some vouchers, it might refer to the date when you have to make a booking by, but on other vouchers, that might refer to the date when you have to travel by. Scott Keyes of Scott's Cheap Flights, a discount travel site, says now is the time to read up on the stipulations of that travel credit and perhaps give customer service a call. The airlines have actually been quite flexible with extending your vouchers, but only for people who ask to have them extend. Demand is still recovering, so consumers can take advantage of low prices now, even if you plan to travel later this year. As we get closer to summer months, vaccinations become higher and cases hopefully drop, we can expect prices to increase. And if you do need to change it, many airlines are still waiving change fees for flights booked by the end of the month. What that does for travelers, obviously, is, is lets you make your travel plans in pencil rather than pen. While you'll have to pay the difference if the fare rises, you'll be able to change dates without an extra fee, and you won't lose the value of your voucher. A potential payoff for a pandemic-delayed vacation. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you decide to change your booking down the road and that flight is actually cheaper in price, be sure you ask the airline for a travel credit for the difference.